an HD video projector for around $200? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this. This rather substantial piece of electronics is the Ape Man HD Video Projector LC650, and it's pretty darn nice. It is big, but that's because they've really engineered it well. It also puts out a lot of brightness, and there are so many small micro projectors that are like, you know, the size of a Rubik's Cube or even smaller, the size of your cell phone, and they just don't have much brightness. They put out 100 lumens, 200 lumens, and what that means is you can project a very small image in a very dark room, and that's about it, but this, this is almost at a professional level. This puts out 6,000 lumens, which is nice and bright. This means you can project this onto the wall of your house or onto your garage door, and it's gonna look pretty darn good. You know, can you make it the size of a billboard on the side of, a road, or the, side of the road? Nah, it's probably not that bright, but it is definitely bright enough to work really well in a house or in a small office situation. And of course, this is great for offices. So you wanna put something in your conference room so people can project their presentations while you're falling asleep, because presentations, keynote, PowerPoint, Hmm, aren't there better ways to do things by now? But whatever the case, this is super easy to work with. You can even have it mounted upside down. There's a way you can mount it. They sell a kit. You can mount it upside down from the ceiling, change a setting so it inverts the image, and then you're good to go. Now, one of the challenges with these is what's called keynote. And that is when you project an image, instead of it being perfectly square, it ends up being sort of at a weird, I don't know, parallelogram, it's not even a parallelogram, a weird rectangle shape, right? And that happens because instead of me projecting it perfectly square on, I tilt it up, right? So it's on the table, but I want it to be a little higher up on the image. So one of the things that 8man included in their remote control is keynote adjustment and it's, or sorry, keystone adjustment. That's the word, keystone, right? So it's super easy to work with. You use the ring to folk dial in the focus. You use the remote control to adjust keystone and you're good to go however weirdly you're projecting it. But let's talk some specs real quick. Then I'll talk you through the cables and then we'll switch to giving you a demo of how this all works. Pretty slick. Now, super important, it's native resolution is 1080p at 60 hertz. That means it's 1920 by 1080 and it can do 60 frames per second. Now, there are a lot of projectors that say they can do 1080p or HD or 4K, but the question is, what's their native resolution? Because having the projector accept a higher signal and then push out a lower resolution signal is not really kind of doing all that super high fancy stuff, right? So there are definitely projectors out there that say that they're 1080p HD, and then you read closer and it's 720 or something. So this is native 1080p at 60 hertz. So that's really nice. It's gonna look like probably your TV if you don't yet have a 4K TV. Like I said, 6,000 lumens, super bright, keystone correction. The optics are sealed. That's part of why this is big. It's a sealed optical system, so it doesn't have any issues with collecting dust, which is obviously important if you have this stuck on your ceiling for months or years on end. Um, dual stereo speakers, it actually has decent sound, not amazing sound, but considering that its primary purpose is to project a video image, the sound is entirely acceptable and usable. And the fun part is really the remote control. Now, this remote control has a lot of features and a lot of controls. It's fairly straightforward to use. It does give you volume. The pause and play is only when you're playing media through this, as opposed to just streaming from the HDMI wire. Um, it's pretty easy to figure all that out. And power on, power off, all of that takes two AAAs, which it doesn't include, but you probably have some in your house. I certainly have a lot of them. Um, Battery life, I'm sorry, there is no battery life. <laughs> this is important. This does not have any sort of battery. It has to be plugged in all the time. So you're not gonna be able to take this on a wilderness hike and then project it on a rock wall. It's not gonna work, right? 
But the bulb life is actually 50,000 hours. So this is going to last a really long time. Will you see 50,000 hours? No, well, you might get pretty close because it has a temperature detection shutoff. A lot of the issues with bulbs is overheating. So this has a built-in temperature sensor system. And what the company says is generally speaking, you're going to be able to use it for about five hours and then it will shut down for a while. And if that's what it takes to keep the bulb alive, then that's actually not a bad thing. It does have a really interesting heat dissipation system that is so quiet that it's about like 25 or 30 decibels, which is basically underneath the background noise you're going to have in your home or office. So it really is super quiet. You won't hear it at all, even on the demos we'll get to in just a second. And it does give you a nice long life. So. On the top, there is the power button, redundant power button, which you probably don't really need. The front has a hole for a speaker and it has a little foot that you can, obviously if it was upside down, it would work better, but it gives you a little foot that you can adjust. And then of course that plus Keystone gives you the ability to move your image up on the wall. Super helpful. The sides are basically all about cooling. And then on the back, is a series of inputs. So it's HDMI, two USB, an AV in, which is really sort of like component, and then an AUX out. So if you wanna use this, but you want better sound, you can plug in a better speaker, easy enough. And then in the bottom corner, it actually has power. So it includes an HDMI cable, and it's a nice, nice heavy one. It's actually a nice cable. And it includes this AV to component adapter so that's how you can get it if you have like a video game system this will work and let's see it also includes a cover for the lens what i have added to this mix for the demo is i have added the apple lightning to hdmi adapter so i can use my iphone 11 pro to push video out to the projector and i also have a handy little flash drive and this actually on this flash drive i've loaded on some avi some movies some mp3s a bunch of photos and we'll see not everything will work i suspect but it's going to be pretty close and to be able to have a whole bunch of content on something this small stick it in here and boom you're ready to go how nice is that so let me just one more thing before we switch out and the other thing i would tell you is the size so this is 10 and a half inches by nine inches by three and a half inches and it is five pounds it is not the lightest projector in the world but again if you're looking at projectors that actually have really good quality and that are nice and bright then you're picking up weight because there's more circuitry and heat dissipation and all sorts of stuff that the companies have to add so about five pounds you know 10 by nine inches it's it's small but it's not very small <laughs> um, you could certainly throw this in your suitcase if you were off for the weekend and you wanted to turn the basement at grandma's into a movie theater but you know it's definitely not something you're going to just tote around on a daily basis why would you do that anyway it doesn't make sense right so enough chatter let's switch and let's do a demo so we're all hooked up and right off the bat what i'm doing is i'm using hdmi with the adapter not included and plugged in my phone. So that means we can, for example, watch my own video channel on YouTube. Now, pretty nice, right? So HDMI obviously gives you the ability to go and launch other apps and I can go into things like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video and you'll see, um, obviously the lighting is not perfect in as much as I'm trying to light for my video in addition to showing you the projector. But trust me, the fact that you can see this with this level of lighting shows just how bright this thing is. Um, if we go to, let's pick a really cheesy movie, and this is Forbidden World. This is cheesy old sci-fi. And we're not gonna watch much of it because I certainly don't have rebroadcast rights, but let's just give it just long enough so you can see it's pretty cool now the volume control is on the remote and as i said one of the things they did really great is they have sensors for the remote on the front and back so either way you're good so let's turn the volume up um this looks really bad 
<laughs> Let's just stop here. <laughs> so anything you can put on your screen, basically you can stream onto the projector. And then the remote gives you control. Um, yeah, let's, let's go back so at least we see something. Um, gives you control over the volume, but it doesn't give you control over pause play, which is a little confusing because as you can see in this close up, the remote has a pause and play button, but that's only for video you're playing directly on the device. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch inputs, right? Well, I suppose I should point towards the device. I'm gonna switch inputs and we're going to go to USB one. Now, this could be something like your Amazon Fire TV stick or a Google Chromecast or really any device. This could be an Apple TV, it could be your Blu-ray player, right? So what I have is I just have a little thumb drive and the thumb drive I preloaded with some video content, some audio content and some photos. And you can see this is the built-in eight-man navigation system and it does it by media type. It's not glamorous. They clearly have not spent a ton of money on 3D rendering and shading, but it's functional. So let's start with movies and you can see it only sees content in the C USB-C drive. So I'll choose that. And now here are some sample movies and I don't even know what they are, but let's just do this real quick. Uh, unsported file. Okay, well, <laughs> this one works though. So as you can see now, I have pause and play capabilities and that's great. And this is a video that I shot on my phone. So now I've copied it onto the flash drive and now I'm projecting it pretty nice. Now let's back up further and I'm going to go to music and I just put some music in here. Let's see if we got any of that works. Whoops. Let's try that again. So it demonstrates the audio quality of the device, which is surprisingly decent for a video projector. Most of them don't have any speakers or have like one tiny little speaker. This does better than that. Is this going to duplicate the experience of having it in the movie theater? No, <laughs> but is it decent? Yeah. And then I can look at photos. And again, each time we're seeing that it's showing me that just the USB-C drive is there. And if I choose photos, I can navigate through them or I can just wait and it actually is automatically in slideshow mode. So these are old photos. Um, not all of them are old, but this is me on, oh, well, that one was me on the news. How about that? So cool, right? So all of these features I really like. They've done a really nice job. Let's go back, 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 back. So, you know, basically you have all the different inputs and you have all the different ways you can play it. And this is really bright. As I said before, you know, 6,000 lumen gives you a lot of projection ability. This is daytime with additional lights. And all I've done is this is a sort of almost like a fabric. It's almost like having basically a bed sheet, but it's actually designed for projection. You certainly don't need that. Um, projecting onto a wood wall like I have behind me, it's not going to look good. I tried it. <laughs> That's why I did this. But generally speaking, if you have a white wall or the side of your house or a garage, you might be really surprised just how well this will work. And that 6,000 lumens is going to give you a lot of projection ability. You can even get 100 diagonal inches or much, much bigger. So all depends on what your expectations are and how dark you can make the environment, of course. But this is a pretty sweet device and its price is actually pretty darn reasonable, too. So let me tell you about the price. So before we get there, however, I'm going to ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you subscribe to my channel because then we stay in touch. I get access to a lot of gear. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons and demos and show you how it works. Why wouldn't you subscribe, right? Click or tap that button. And now we are connected. Great. So this with the remote, with the wires, with the adapters, all of this, is the Ape Man HD Video Projector LC650. 
and it is $269.99, but when I checked just a few minutes ago on YouTube, no, I checked on Amazon, <laughs> when I checked a few minutes ago on Amazon, it was down to $212.49. That's a substantial savings. So this basically is just a little above $200 to have something that would work great for an office. If you're having to build an office in your house and you want a projector for, I don't know why, you're just really used to projecting your keynote presentations or your PowerPoints, you can do this. You can mount this upside down on your ceiling and then there's a button that lets you change the setting so it inverts the image and then you have a remote control. And this is just like the pros have, right? And you could do this all for 200 and a little bit. So really definitely one worth checking out. There are a lot of projectors, but don't be fooled. The really tiny ones just don't have the lumens and they just can't project very bright at all. This does not suffer from that. So it's definitely worth checking out. And with that, I think I'm gonna go back to the girls on their tube being pulled behind a boat <laughs> and remember those glorious old days, <laughs> which means I'll catch you in my next video.